What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today we got another video in my series of Canon EOS R videos. Uh, so like if you guys wanna check out any of the other videos I have in this series, make sure you check on the annotation in the top right corner or you can click on one of the clips or the playlist at the end of this video. So I've done a bunch of other videos for this one. Today's video is gonna be a very simple one and it's gonna be how to do the custom white balance on the Canon EOS R. And this is actually something that you could use. You could use this, this uh, explanation for most of the Canon EOS uh, line of cameras. They all kind of do the same type of thing for white balance. I was hoping they would change that situation with the Canon EOS R because it's a couple steps uh, compared to other cameras that have a very quick way to do it. But let's go through the steps and I'll show you detail on how you set up the white balance, custom white balance on the Canon EOS R. Let's do that now. So first off, as you can see here, we have a really blue image in there. I have the, my, a white, uh, paper towel in front of me, it looks pretty much bluish. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to pick up a white balance card. So I have one right here. This one I got from, you know, uh, b &H Photo for like $10. It's a very easy fold up type of a uh, white balance card that kind of folds up into a very small uh, uh, size. You can stick this in your bag very easily. I'll have a link down below if you wanna purchase one of these. But you can basically use anything, but I prefer to use this, but if you don't have this, you can use a piece of paper. Anything that is like pretty true white, you can use that in Pretty much get away with doing your white balance this way so basically you can take your white balance card you're going to stick it over here let me get your camera in the right mode okay so first off it's in video mode right now so we need to switch it over to camera mode so we're going to press the mode on the top button right there and select hit the info button so now we're in camera mode we'll leave it in manual that should be fine so there's we are in camera, camera mode so now we have to take a photo of the white balance card attempt to hold this basically over here in front of it like so Take a photo of that. So there, okay. So I've taken a photo of the white balance card. So now we're gonna go into the menu system and now we're gonna switch, see where it says custom white balance. That's already selected in the menu system under the camera. It doesn't matter if it's for video or for stills, it, it, should, it should keep this uh, regardless in the custom white balance section. So you basically select that. There's a photo we just took of the white balance card and you're saying, yes, I wanna use this to set the white balance up. It's telling you to sit, switch it to custom white balance when you do that. So now we're gonna come back over here and bam, it's now a white, nice, nice white, no more blue. And we can switch back into video mode right there. And so obviously that's pretty dark, so let me brighten it up. Actually, it probably looks pretty good on, for you guys on this camera, so that's fine. And when you go to the quick menu up here in the top right corner, you just make sure that that icon right there in the corner, you can tap it and make sure your white balance is set to custom. So these are all the different other variations and options on there, but when you set it to custom, it's gonna use that custom white balance, the photo you just took, and that should stay right there. It's not gonna move or, or change while you're in the middle of filming. It will stay locked into that. And this is something you guys should do anytime you film anything. You always need to do your white balance because especially if you wanna do color grading and things afterwards, or even if you don't wanna mess with color grading, sometimes you don't have to because the colors will be fine. But when they're when you do the white balance, it for sure is better, easier to color grade to make sure that everything looks real and isn't like super blue or, or too uh, warm or like orangish tones and things like that, you gotta do your white balance. So that's basically how you set up the white balance on the Canon EOS R, like I said. This is the same type of menu system that Canon uses on all their EOS cameras. So it's basically the same steps, although the buttons might be a little bit different in getting into those areas to be able to set it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you wanna check out some of my other Canon EOS R videos, you can click on any one of the clips over there. If you wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of all my new videos, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified anytime I put out a new video. So that's it for me today and I'll see you guys in the next video review.